Alrighty, my friends. Mantis A down. 11, uh, 12 runs in a row. Let's see what the next ship is. Three, two, one, and random. Slug B, there it is. There it is, the Slug B. We have not done any of the Slug ships. Ooh, boy, okay. Slug B. Um, a YouTube viewer wanted to be very specifically a, a boarding slug on Slug B, Uberif. So this ship is considered one of the weakest in the game. Um, let me see. Who are you? Nikos will make you Uberif. Uberif. I know, another boarding ship. So this might be the only other run we do today. If, well, unless we die and we have to start a new Shriek. Uh, Stealth B is a Shriek killer. This is a Shriek war criminal, huh? Alright, are there any... Special strats on this ship? Just try not to run out of missiles, right? Uh, is there a record for most wins in a row? Yeah, Hollow Shadime has the record. <laughs> we got Fancy and Stealth B once. We haven't had Stilton Z. I don't think so. Uh, get instant store, sell heal, and get clone bay as the build, huh? I have a room for preventing. I have room for preventing. What does that mean? What do you mean? Wow, an honest gifter. Thank you for the one, two, three, four, five gifted subs. I appreciate that. You like using Artemis missile to deal HP damage by firing at a room. And dancing borders out at the last minute. That's harder to do on no pause. Oh, I see what you're saying, yeah. You think I should prevent a lot of empty rooms? Is that what you're saying? Hope for early one power weapon or a flak. Yeah. So, oh, well, there is instant store. Um... That could be quite good. I feel like I might need a jump or two. What were the devs thinking with the ship? It's so bad. I have no idea what they were thinking. Do I have enough to sell Slug Repair Gel and Heal Bay to get Clone Bay? A Heal Bomb to get Clone Bay? Slow Rider? Uh, I don't know. It's anonymous, so. So that is enough. So I should just check this door, huh? Okay, okay. So we hope for Clone Bay. Oh man, there's also Mantis at this store. That is... GG, I guess? Well, not GG, but that's really a good start. The ship immediately jumps to mid-tier now, you think, huh? I guess because it's a Artemis boarding ship. Um, Man, I would love to buy one of these crew. That'd be really expensive, though. Wow, there's our other store. Okay, so let's remember, this store has mind control and backup battery and three mantis if we want to come back for whatever reason. With Clone Bay, we can do things like manually search the wreckage, giant alien spiders, lock onto their life signs with teleporter. Holy crap, that is such a good start. Okay. Um, now with a rock border, I'm feeling a lot better. Auto scouts aren't much of a problem with Clone Bay. Um, do I want this guy in here for my weapon to charge faster, or do I want the dodge? Probably want the dodge. Probably want dodge. Okay, attack the pirate. All right, he can damage us, so let's board shields and missile his weapons, and we should be safe. I have something in that vented room now. I don't know what that means. Oh, that's bad. Okay, all right.
Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to move these guys. I'm going to do a second group of boarding. Go there. Okay. Oh, my clone bay was vented. That's what you were saying. Okay, gotcha. Free all repair drone. Holy crap, that is like 45 scrap worth of stuff. Okay. I feel like as far as starts go, that's kind of a crazy start for this ship. I think I said earlier there was someone in my YouTube comments who specifically wanted to be a slug be boarder. Yes, I did. It's Uberith. Thank you for the reminder, Sleeping Dragon. We got her. <laughs> or them. Um, but that does remind me, is there anybody else that wanted to be crew that I haven't got? Eerie wanted to be Anilanius. Blood Wolf 47 wanted to be Weapons Crew. I think I'm caught up on YouTube names. You got bad brain fog. No worries. I mean, the fact that you remembered that I said that is pretty amazing, I think. Um, do I get shield value or do I get one more jump before going to a store and hoping I can like get an insane weapon? Be the rock man? Sure thing. You want to be the pilot. Got it. Got it. Alright, so rock man is... Shinobi one. Uh, there's no weapons guy yet, Contasul, because everybody's boarding. Pilot is... In and... And Hecateris, you can be our last slug, and that's all our crew right now. Hecateros. If you like to low into sense of false security, yeah, you are absolutely right about that. You could sell a whole drone for four shields? Yeah, I guess I could do that right now. Maybe I do do that. Yeah, maybe instead of trying to greed, we just sell and get the shields now. Be nice to have gotten more scrap and got a backup battery. Man, this store's got a couple things I'd like. Whole laser, backup battery hacking are all good. But we probably just get the shields. Slug them achieved. You have no idea why you enjoy being the slug so much. All right, well, we pretend that we didn't just see that hacking there. And we have second shield and a missile and boarding. And say we're in great shape. Rock, oh my god. We got a free rock crew into immediate rock blue option. All right, all right, game. You're being a little too nice now. I'm now really starting to get scared. Okay, am I now going to get a good bunch of empty jumps? No, I'm not going to get a bunch of empty jumps. Alright, now we're saving for hacking, I guess. As Slugby starts to go, this is probably 90th percentile. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, defense drone makes this harder. He can't damage us, though, so... I think I'm just going to have to double board here. Maybe eventually get the drone offline, maybe. This gets the... Oh, I don't know why I'm doing that. I don't have a pilot now. Okay, that's drawn offline, so now we take heal bay out. Do this, and... Win the fight, I think. Time to dive and get two more fights to go up to engines four. That sounds like a terrible idea. <laughs> Holy free anti-bio beam. Now we're... <laughs> now we're NGA with a teleporter. Oh my god. What is all this free stuff? Here's, here's all the free stuff I didn't get last run. He's not my luck on this sector. Well, I will say last run we had a crazy sector one, two, and then that's when things went bad. So maybe FTL setting us up again. <laughs> I 
In and are you a pilot in real life? <laughs> no, no, Inan is not a pilot. Now we need a fire beam for the anti bio beam build. Yes, sure. Have I ever vented some crew but forgotten to power the clone bay? Many times. I don't think I've ever done it and lost crew that way. But I have done it, forgot to turn it on, and have to scramble for it. Only 20 more scrap now to be able to afford hacking with the anti-bio beam cell. Okay. We've already seen two stores, so we don't get any more stores this sector. You've dismissed the wrong crew member many times. Oh, solar flare. Okay. Well, this guy can't damage us, but it is a solar flare. So I don't even need to use a missile unless I want to do that for some extra crew damage, I guess. I think we win this fight now. That's good. Do we get out even before the solar flare? That would be amazing. No, but I can't clone my dudes, though. Okay. Saw the one pop up there. Um, actually, I am going to do this. I feel like there's a little sketch. Check if there's any other fires. No. Okay, we're good. I might have to jump while my second slug is. Yeah, it's still good. So. Okay. I can board with my other slug in the meantime. Uh. I guess I'll have the chance to go 1, 2, 3, or 1, 2, 3 if I go here. Phantom becomes obsolete. Now crew is visiting Lanya's quarters. Okay. Do you have a fear of flying in it? Oh, no. Oh, burst laser 2 and heal uh, bay. That kind of sucks. I get the missile offline first, though. I mean, the laser. Double fire. That's great. <laughs> oh, yeah, I get wrecked. Good fight, man. Good fight. All right, I am going to... Man, I think I might should get level 2 Clone Bear right now. Um, Papper, if you have to take a doggy for a walk, you wonder what crazy build you see when you get back. Hopefully it'll include a flak. All right, I'm going to vent you... Um, but not you and not you, and I'm going to upgrade my clone bay to level 2. I think we can still afford with anti-bio beam selling hacking if I do that. Level 2 enables Kazak, and we need Kazak. Well, I don't even think it's possible to get Mantis Home of Sector 2, so it'll be a while before that's a possibility. But sure, in case of Kazak. And I also don't think there's any level 2 clone bay blue option, but I'm taking that just for the, like, protection from one missile hitting clone bay. Level, uh, one damage missile hitting clone bay and killing my crew, so. Clone bay level 2, sector 1, we are billionaires. Yeah, it has to be sector 3 onwards for home worlds. Yeah, that sounds right. Uh, Chris Pitch, you made it back from college in time to catch stream. Look forward to crossing one more off the list. Nice! Welcome, my friend. I hope college is going well. All right, that's a uh, pledge to do, to do what I can. What is that one? I think I'm helping out somebody, saving a store or saving something. You love fire, Grima says. All right. Okay, all right, so he does have a missile. I'm going for his missiles first. It's an empty room. Good, we'll do this. We can't repair it. Hopefully, for the second time. I'll kill in Clone Bay. Hopefully, two missiles per fight is not too much.
We're good. We're good. Oh, we have Rock plus Mantis boarding on Slug B with a clone base Sector 1. Oh, that is so stinking good, man. All right. Um, so now we put you on weapons, you on teleporter. We vent you. Holy Sector 1 Slug B star, Batman. Oh, we think that's the bomb their key structures one, which is firebomb or... No, that's show them how to intimidate settlers. That's missile or bomb? Um, this college is stressful. Your professor is really trying to push you to into grad school. You just want to kill bugs. But you've got to you got this to relax with, thankfully. Hope I'm well. I'm doing well. Our first run was very long and stressful, but doing pretty well. Okay, what well, we don't have is Ultimate Shield Bypass. I think any missile works for the quest we have? Okay. Um, I feel like we just never go Zoltan. So let's go Rebel. Oh, you're in school for pest control. That's why you're killing bugs. Okay. I was thinking maybe a programmer where you're, you know, computer bugs. I don't know. Twenty missiles. Anti bio beam does giant alien spiders. We have clone bay for that, but anti bio beam guarantees it, so we don't find a store with stuff. I should go this way. Yeah, because if my one store is there, I'll still be able to get the quest. We don't need to instantly get the quest. We only need one nebula to get an extra jump. You're not in school for it. It just took up your part-time and looking to continue the path. Your degree's in history, but you're not planning to teach, so... Ah, uh, okay. Hey, this guy cannot damage us, but he is running. Let's board in shields. Please, no anti-personnel drone. Good. We shoot his... something just to pull his pilot. Um, engines, that'll pull the pilot, right? And now I don't even think I need to start sending secondary borders. Can if I want to preserve health, but we're going to be cloaking any, uh, cloning anyway, so. The dolphin flip. Beautiful. Although that reward wasn't amazing, but. Well, I, what I will say, Chris Witch, is as. Uh, as frustrating as it can be to be, like, being pushed by people to do things, if you do get your degree, even if you continue on the pest control path, having a degree can be quite helpful getting jobs later. My little brother got his... He has the same degree I have, which is a master's degree in vocal performance, and he has worked in insurance for about 15 or 20 years, but every time he goes to a new place or gets a new job, he's instantly up higher in the totem pole because of his degree. So that's something to think about. Uh, learning history is very useful for understanding the world and very and not very useful for making money. That's like getting a music degree. <laughs> Just like getting a music degree. Sadly, that's probably true for a lot of degrees. Um, yeah, let's go distress then store. Because if it is giant alien spiders, I want to use my anti-bio beam in that cell store. Uh, you're on a very generous scholarship. That's what you're thinking. If you get moved into corporate management, you'll have the degree box checked. Yeah. It's not bad. But it is. Give them four fuel. I guess the, a map wouldn't even be terrible here. I'll probably have to buy fuel right after this. So I need you to give me more than 12 scrap for this. Or something. It gives me like 10 repair. That wouldn't be great either. Okay, it is a map. Okay. Do see lots of ship fights. Two chances at hacking, I guess, from the two stores. No more distress beacons, so we're basically safe to sell off all our giant alien spiders. Antibio beam. One, two, three. Man, how do I get to the quest efficiently in this many ship fights? One, two, three. Hmm. Man, if both of my stores weren't here, I'd totally go just around here and get all the scrap. But hacking is so good.
Alright, please have hacking. Please have hacking. Nice. Alright, so... Do I even sell anti-bio beam? Probably, right? Yeah. Yeah, sell this and buy fuel. Do I need to buy any missiles or anything? Do I need to get sensors? No, none of that. So we skip the store. Because we'd have to sell Artemis to do anything at the store. So now, one, two, three, four, into the nebula. Five, six, seven. Mm. Anti-bio beam giving you flashbacks when you try to make a two anti-bio beam a viable offense. It was not a pretty run. No, that wouldn't be very good. Sorry, sir. There's nothing personal. We're under orders. All right. Uh, this guy can't damage us. So I don't take it personally at all. Thank you for being weak. I actually appreciate how easy you're going on me, sir. Although I feel like that means if we get a third run in today, I'm going to get absolutely manhandled by bad RNG. dodge. I should train. I should dodge train. I can't weapon train, but I should dodge train. I hate doing this, but it's just too good. It saved our last run. Dodge training saved our last run. And this is like, just like that ship we trained in last time. I guess I could shield train on this guy or something. So boring, but it's just, we're this deep into a streak we need to. Um, man, I'm trying to think of if I have any stories to tell since we got a just AFK train again. You have to watch then. Sounds like it was exciting. Oh, last run? Last run was Mantis A. We had a really good Sector 1. I don't want to give away too much. But after Sector 1, things got a little dicey. Do I have Xbox PC Game Pass? I think... Is that something you have to renew or is that something you buy once and have? Because I feel like I did that years ago. But don't think I still have it. Unless it's a buy one, get it forever type of thing. I think I only go to level one this time, though. I don't think I'm going to be patient enough to get maxed out. Takes money off you monthly. Oh, my friend Tim has that. I don't have that. Because I don't play Xbox games like hardly ever. And I know, training time, most boring time ever. It's too good, though. It's too useful. You know what I need to do? I need to get the speed hack. Um, you know what? On my other screen, I'm going to look up speed hack right now. Although, does that... Man, clicking on my other screen, I think... Does it still go? I don't know. Hopefully that's not pausing my game. I could try out Hitman if I have that. Ah, I gotcha, I gotcha. If uh, you click off, does your game pause when you're playing on no pause? I don't know. I change the screen to window that gives you the option not to pause. Okay, this is not me pausing. This is me checking. Uh, I'm on stretch. That's not full screen. I have a feeling for stream there's a reason I have it that way and not on windowed. So I think I'm not going to worry about it. But I am really quickly. What's the mod called? Speed up time. Is it called speed hack? Alright, well, nobody count this as a pause because I'm not pausing to strategize. I'm just doing this to download speed hack for next time we play. Uh, FTL speed hack. There. You all help me remember. After this run, I want to download this and install it for just for dodge. The only reason I want to use this for dodge training because it's just too boring to stream this. Okay. Cheat engine is what you use. Okay. Yeah, I think I think it is auto pausing when I go out of the screen. So this sector one. Oh, did you see? Did you already see the numbers? How are we doing on this? Five more dodges, four more dodges, okay. Guinness Book of World Records is going to invalidate the whole run. Oh, darn you, Guinness Book. It's easy when, to see when you have two monitors. 
background. Uh, if I ever had a run where I have not sank at a single single point of hull damage. Uh, no, no, I don't. I don't think that's possible. That's just so much like, I mean, I feel like the only ships that that would be possible would be an insane stealth A start or an insane Zoltan A start. We have Zoltan shield, shield or cloaking from the beginning. And even then, like, boss fight missiles. How do you dodge every single one? I'm sure I've never done that. Crow think you think Crow said he'd done one of those? You had a Zoltan A run where the only damage you took was four from an event? That is crazy. Do I know of any good mod installation guides? You tried to install Advanced Fleet for Scene Indicator, but it's not showing in-game. Are you using Slipstream Mod Manager? I'm pretty sure the subset forums Slipstream Mod Manager post tells you pretty well how to do that. Hollow did a 30-hole max challenge on NGC. He somehow found it very easy. What does that mean? That you're never allowed to repair? I feel like one of the stealth ships is the most likely to get a zero hole damage run. Yeah, I, stealth A. Not stealth B. It's not stealth C. There it is. All right, let's, let's end the training for now. Uh, you'll be using Slipstream now. You think you're just trying to put stuff into the game folder directly. That's a lot harder to switch. Use Slipstream Mod Manager. I do all my modding that way. The only mods I don't do with that is when I have... When I'm using Hyperspace. And I had MathChamp, who was like a mod guru, give me a uh, program I can click to swap between Hyperspace and non-Hyperspace. Certainly, it's probably most likely Stealth A would just be a luck where you get beams with before drones. Stealth A, I don't know, man. I feel like Stealth A is really um, consistent in avoiding all damage because of how fast its weapons are and starting with cloaking. But yeah, I guess if you get an early beam drone, that could wreck it. Wreck it. We do want this store, right? Yeah, this is the missile bomb there, uh, missile thing. Your cat joined is watching. Plus one viewer. Beautiful. Um... my hacking, okay. Fuck you, FTL. God damn this shitty game. That's a two damage missile. I can't I can't board him now. Unless I guarantee it goes offline. God damn this effing game. Fuck you, FTL! Ugh. So much for not getting salty. This fucking game. He's literally two damage missile my weapons twice on my hacking once. Don't you... Piece of shit. Game, man. Okay. Ah, oh, it's so goddamn annoying. Okay, we breached him. God. I know, I'm, I'm sorry. Positivity, positivity, meh, positive. <sighs> Alright, I don't want to use any more missiles. No, I'm not running away. But if I do that, I only need to use one more missile. Do one more dodge training potential and then kill him. All right. Oh god damn it, man! I will never not get pissed off at a two damage missile to my weapons before I even get one effing shot off. How does he even fire before my we Artemis goes off? Because I didn't have my weapons powered, right? God damn it! That is a huge punish for. I don't want to call it laziness. It's more like distractedness. I blame chat, really. Hashtag blame chat. They're worth training shields, not very often in my experience. You're pretty sure if I board there instantly I take the missile down? 
Yeah, well, it was my bad because we just came off of training. I didn't have my crew in the right place, and I didn't have my weapons and teleporter online. If I had, that shit wouldn't have happened, and I would have probably instantly boarded. All right, if we see another auto scout like that BS fight, we have to instantly board his weapons and not get distracted. Flirtin, thank you for 37 months. Appreciate it. He's got a bomb. Okay. Okay, no boarding drone. <sighs> really is my own, my own damn fault. I, I just... I don't really blame it on chat. I just blame it on the fact that I'm streaming. When I'm streaming, which is always when I'm playing this game, it's so easy to get distracted by discussions and whatever. Nice double reward there. What's the dancing blue alien? It's from the movie Fifth Alien. Fifth, fifth Element. Fifth Alien, yeah. It's an opera singing alien. I used it. I started that out as my, like, mascot way back when I started streaming because I sing opera. And I love that movie. Yeah, Hans, my schedule is not correct. <laughs> that schedule is from the tournament. A year and a half ago? Two years? Man, how long has it been? I think it's been almost two years now. I think it was the summer of 2021 when we did the tournament. Fifth Element Opera Singer, singer uh, is a banger. It's a, such a great scene. All right, what am I doing next? Am I level two hacking? Am I saving up scrap for cloaking? I mean, if I could just get cloaking, a weapon would be nice to... The summer of 69. Are there other movies in the style of Fifth Element? I don't know. Bombard their key structures. Heal bay. Teleport. Okay, we deal with the borders first. He can't damage us. Thanks for boarding there, sir. Um, I know there's another movie by that same director. Um... Called, I forget what it's called. Something in the Thousand Planets. It's terrible. <laughs> or at least I did not find it all that enjoyable. I think that guy's done other movies, but I don't know them all super well. Can't imagine doing no pause, much less doing so while reading chats. It's very impressive how I do it. Well, thank you. Uses a lot of brain power. And often I run out of the brain power. Uh, Brain.exe does not, can't be found sometimes. We were just watching those VODs. Super good final, final between Necro and Retreat Retreat. Speed versus Scored Farming. Yeah. It's good times. We need to do it again, but really the driving force behind that happening was Kassalian. And I think Kassalian's still around, but I don't know how active he is in. Esports, and that was he's the he's the reason I have this Irie Legacy thing way at the top of the screen that fades in and out, and he did so much of the work to make that actually happen. All right, um, we don't have a great route here, but I guess we're going one, two, three, four. I think I go. No, I can't go that way. Yeah, Luke Besson, that's the one. He kind of missed the mark in his other movies, you think? Well, I mean, if you think about it, Fifth Element was a weird movie. It had a lot of weird stuff in it. So it's not strange to think that his other movies would be kind of weird, but not be weird in a good way. <laughs> All right, so let's actually insta-board, hack his weapons... And then hopefully get the missile offline. Perfect. More free crew. Gotta love it, man. Gotta love it. Um, wow, you didn't take that much damage at all. So, 
Is that you? Do I want to board with Double Mantis instead of Rock Plus Mantis? Nah. Let's have these guys as our secondary borders, or maybe these guys as our secondary borders. How's the tournament thing work? Do you pick your own ship? Is it score beast based or something? Uh, speed based or something else? Um, that was the hardest thing to decide when Casalian, me, a couple others like Pie Boy and Farb, and some folks discussed. It was based on a combination of we had what was called a tournament score, which was the score you got on the run divided by the time, and then multiplied it by a multiplier, I think. Something like that. Basically, we tried to find the best way to create a number, and it was head-to-head, -head, one versus one, <clears throat> that whoever had the highest tournament score based on that calculation, which was basically winning with as high as a score as fast as possible. It's hard to really judge who's a better FTL player in one run. So... We based it off highest speed over shortest amount of time. And it turned out Retreat Retreat, when he was score farming and not playing super slow, kind of blew everyone out of the water with his score farming strats. Alright, services, scan the planet, darn. Not a great end to that set. What's up, Dimitrovsky? Would it be dumb to request fish to be renamed Kenobi one? Um, I don't like to have one person rename multiple people, Shinobi. Sorry. Just because I have so many people request to be named things. Um, don't want to do that. Sorry. Mantis or NG? I really want stores, but... Well, Forced Nebula is not the end of the world. Mantis Controlled... Mantis Controlled is fine. Um... We go Mantis Control and then have an option for Kazakh. NG Sector. I do want stores for either weapons or cloaking. More stores equals higher long range scanners chance. Yeah. It's not a bad route to go there. Have one Force Nebula and then we have potential other greens. Alright, Grima is requesting it. Sure, Grima, this is your one request. Goodness, alright, fine. Uh, one Kenobi. There you go. Now we have Shinobi Kenobi. Shinobi Kenobi. NG means defense drones. It's true. It also means stores and potential free stuff and other things. I'm gonna go Mantis because I just I want options after this. Although I'm probably gonna go to the purple sector anyway. Because most reds I would avoid. NG for stasis pod, yeah. Yeah, we're going for damage stasis pod event. That's what we're doing. Okay, he has a missile. fight either way. Go ahead and do this just to make sure. Oh, we're not winning that fight. Oh my god, okay. And we didn't get the goddamn missile offline. You gotta be shitting me, game. Ooh, that was a little sketchy, but we did have the clone bay value, so there's only one damage missile. I don't think we're actually at risk of losing crew, but that was that was a little sketchy. That's three value points for that one damage missile. Is there something else I should have done there? Boarded weapons, I hacked weapons. How else do I not take a missile there? I don't know what I should have done differently there. That exit placement? Oh man, that is really good, you're right. You've always wondered what the game's reasoning is for green-red sectors. You're still getting in fights either way. Is it related to the events? Um, generally, green sectors mean more stores, fewer fights. 
And generally, red sectors mean fewer stores, more fights. But it's way more complicated than that, and it's not exactly like that. So. Hack 2. Yeah, maybe I do want Hack 2, but I, I have enough for cloaking now. I wanted one more power. So yeah, Hack 2 should probably be our next buy. I have Clone Bay, pry it open. Human trained... Human trained on piloting. Okay. Put you on shields, put you on doors. This is now my secondary board. Door count is the most consistent thing. Yeah, I think that's probably right. Bad option of a human. Eh, still free crew. It's fine. We have really good crew. Although, NG would have been way better if that was a possibility. See a useless human. All right, Attila. Let me get you. It's gonna. You're going to have to remind me of two jumps because we have... Ah, uh, solar flare. Okay. That's an ion bomb, I think. I do not want to lose my shields right before the uh, solar flare goes off. Oh, good dodge, though. Good dodge. Okay, that's pretty bad. Um, check if there's any other fires. It's just up there. Oh, crap. Okay, and we're out. Um, now we got the fun of venting the human later. You're back. Is there any free crew for naming? I think just a couple humans. They made the sectors green and red because they needed a way to make colorblind players feel excluded. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, I guess we go to stress. We have a lot of blue options. We don't have NG blue options. We have clone bay. We have rock. Rock. Beautiful. This is the same blue option we got. Sector one. Honestly, that's a pretty low scrap reward, so I guess that's better for fuel and missiles, which we don't mind that, because I do need miss missiles. When was the last time I we went to Crystal Sector? Actually, a couple weeks ago we got Crystal Sector. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. All right, let's go here first so we can... Subscribing Oh, uh, actually, one, two. We'll see if that's a store. If that is a store, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna have to do a little backtracking. I think we do take this distress. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We should see our store guaranteed that way. Oh crap! I forgot to rename. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Uh, all right. Beautiful. All right, so Attila wants to be one of the humans. Attila. And... Paprik wants to be one. Okay. Paprik. Uh, uh, Buffs are thinking for the 13 months in a row. Tier 1 sub, which is awesome. Appreciate that. New human already has shield training. Good call. I'll put this guy, I guess, here. Uh here and I can move them into secondary boarding there. Okay. Also one of the few events where Medbay gives you options. New human army uh, isn't Kirkner a generated name. Oh yes, there is one other Mantis. Sorry. I'm maxed on crew, so I'm going to agree to offer him up. Okay. Alright. Okay, he does have defense drone. Um... Oh god, we're not winning this fight. One second. Two. Okay. 
Jesus Christ, we're taking so much damage. Uh, go get the weapons offline. What the hell's happening right now? We dodge nothing, that's what happens. Um, uh, God. L2 fix, I can fix this. God, he triple hit us again. Okay, there's one down. I'm gonna follow him this time. Hack this. Ah, oh, there we go. That'll do it. All right, annoying fight is annoying. Okay, we did take, wow, like three damage or something from that? Holy, no dodges for me, Batman. That sucked. I'm not gonna vent, is this the human that's got uh, training? No, okay. Said it before, I'll say it again. Heal Bay hack should work with Medbot Dispersal. That would be pretty crazy if it did. Now you wait to be vented or food. There you go. First venting. Congratulations on this, the day of y'all humans venting. Congratulations. What's up, Nietzsche? How are you doing, sir? Yeah, let's get hacked, too. Keep hoping to find a store, and we're just not finding it. So hack, two on weapons. Uh, I'm gonna get one power, because I can still force cloaking. I mean, yeah. Yeah, cloaking. Okay. I was not expecting to take all that damage. One, two, seven. I already know that's not a store. We also know that's not a store. What level hack do we need to kill a crew in heal bay? Uh, they're low health, only level one. I don't know the exact numbers on different levels of it. You got your surgery booked in finally 11 next month. Yay, all right. That's for your uh, thing you've been dealing with. I forget what it is, but I'm glad to hear that, my friend. I'm glad to hear that. All right, what do I hack here? Hack weapons, board weapons, missile, heal bay. This guy can have a defense drone. Let's hack weapons, board weapons. No defense drone though, that's good. Uh, shoot his drone, I guess. Well, that's on fire. I don't think they win that fight now, do they? That guy really hates my hacking. Use one more missile, it's fine. Alright, hey, we got fuel on a boarding ship. Sometimes that is the most needed thing that we always run out of. Right, let's get this repair training on not you guys, maybe you. Congrats on the one of the Manta ship. Thank you, Avi. That was a very challenging, challenging ship, very challenging run. Um, store. Okay, we got our store. Mantis, we might see another one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Too greedy to take three more jumps for the store. Probably is. Am I gonna do it? Probably. Oh, it's your wrist. That's right, your wrist. Man, and for gaming, that's like gotta be one of the worst in uh, injuries or issues to deal with looking forward to the two months off work not looking forward so much to the no gaming yeah you should get um get something like virtual reality thing where all you need is the headset and you move around right 
Although I guess you have little handheld controllers for some virtual virtual reality stuff, so maybe you can't do that. Medbay hack drains health at 13 HP a second, so since it's hack 2, pulse lasts 7 seconds, that would be 91 damage. Hack 3 would do 130. Okay, there you go. Yep, this is slug beat. If you don't think it's greedy, you think we're strong enough to do three more jumps? We'll do, we'll like, we'll evaluate. Each jump, we'll see. And I'll consider an upgrade each jump, too. Man, if they have both cloaking and backup battery and sensors and a flak, I want to have as much scrap as possible. You're thinking of getting some foot pedals and trying to game one-handed. Nice, there you go. You could drive, right? God damn it. Missile cloak, double missile cloaking is like the one fucking thing that can wreck us. So what do we get right before a store? Oh my god. With running away. F you, FTL. Just F you. Alright, we just instantly try to hack his missiles. We're doing this. While trying to kill his piloting, actually, with the first one, so we can't dodge the second one. Please get that missile offline, please. Beautiful. Frickin' amazing. That's so good. Okay. I don't know that we do enough damage that we'll be able to finish him with boarding. Okay, now he's running. I definitely can't. One more missile. Please don't dodge. Okay, good. Cost us some missiles, but we only took, what was that, two damage? They held a missile because they were cloaked. You could play FTL one-handed as long as it wasn't no pause. Yeah, I guess that's probably true. In the stream adult section, there's some one-handed games. <laughs> okay. But... Uh, All right, um, 10 health, man, 10 health. If I have one more double missile ship, I'm skipping an extra jump and going to the store. Visual novel games are actually pretty good for one-handed things, yeah. All right, empty jump is fine. Losing a jump would also be bad. Oh, we're going full greed mode. Please don't be the thing that ends the streak. All right, his weapons are pretty good. We take free stuff. It's not nice, it's nice. Nice, that's right. There's cloaking, there's long range scanners. There's no weapons. Oh, we had FTL jammer. That probably helped with him not running away too. Okay. We always get this. Um, Do I want sensors? I want them to, but do I want to get them right now? So if I don't get sensors, I'm at 10 systems, which means it's more likely to find systems, which will hopefully mean we find backup battery. However, I feel like we need weapons more than we need systems. We have slug sensors are basically a waste. Yeah, and I just don't want, don't want to spend the scrap on it when I do just kind of want to find weapons now. Not, it's less likely, not more likely, less if you reach the threshold. Okay, let me let me stake this out what I'm talking about and tell me if I'm understanding it from what Mike Copley said. As long as you have 10 or less systems, you are more likely to find stores with systems. That's correct, right? I have 10 systems, so if I don't buy sensors, I'm more likely to find another store that has systems. That's correct, right? I don't think Artemis will be enough for the rest of the run. Um, not for the boss. Has to be under. So it's not 10 or less. It has to be less than 10. Now I watch FTL says correct. You think that's it. Once you hit 11, you're less likely to find stores with systems. That's what I understand what from Mike Copley said. That if I buy sensors, I'll be less likely to find more 
stores with systems because we've gone over the threshold. So, yeah, I'm not going to get it. That's how you understood, Mike, what I said. Okay, good. I think we're on the same page. Do I want to buy a drum part? I'm going to buy one drum part. Our systems are done except for backup battery, pretty much. Don't I want less systems? Yeah, but I have to spend 40 scrap to do that, so... Now that we are cloaking, I'm not going to hack. So I feel like that scrap is not worth spending. If I do this, that pulls the pilot, right? There we go. At least for a little bit of time. If I do this again, does it pull him again? Nice. Pull him again. I need to be doing this more often, especially when they're running. There we go. Now he doesn't run. Definitely don't want the human to get the training, though. That's the second free hull repair drone we've got in this run. It's crazy. Just for the scrap gains that gives us. Yeah, we still want backup battery, of course, yeah. So I guess a store with systems is not bad because it's likely to have backup battery. Well, I don't know if likely is the right word, but it's it can have it. It can still have all the systems I can't buy, like teleporter and, I mean, uh, mind control and drone control. Speaking of, Mike Copley is on a whole nother level. You just watched his video about how to time shield drone depowering by measuring crew tile movements. I've heard of that, and that's mind-blowing, yeah. I've never watched the video, but I've heard of that. Do I want to show scrap games? Ah, uh, sure, I'll show scrap games. There we go. That sector one was crazy. The sector three has been pretty crazy as well. Now what do we got? Explore the Ashford Field. Thank you for not being five free hole damage. Nice. All right, there's abandoned. So we don't go to abandoned four because that can be Lanius bombers. Although it's only a single border, but it's still a single Lanius border plus mind control. Well, is that bad enough that we want to avoid it? it probably still is, right? Mike used that Zoltan treadmill on stealthy as well. It's completely crazy. We like to believe it's the same whole repair drone. It has found its way back to us. We have slug blue options. True. All right, let's go just slug controlled. I just don't want to deal with Lanius bombers. Apart from the boarding, it's still mind control plus usually really powerful weapons. Yeah, we have long-range scanners, too. So this is a very good potential high scrap sector. Uh, I do need to get level 202, though. Um, would it make sense to rotate the boarding crew to improve their training? Um, I'm boarding with both crew a lot of the time. So I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I should rotate them. Yeah, I got the O2 upgrade. What's up, Larry Serial? Is this the first run of the day? This is the second run of the day. Aha, Mantis Blue option. Once on board, it becomes clear that the slugs are trying to cheat you, so your Mantis cuts them in half. I love that blue option. It's great. Get sliced, slugs. You are not welcome here. All right, what do I want to upgrade? Weapons, backup battery. So do I want to keep banking scrap? Or do I want to get more dodge so that my cloak is better? I think I want to do that at least once. Spread across the walls of the ship so great, I know, right? Big giant missile, teleporter. Okay, we're hacking his weapon. Well, yeah, we're hacking his weapons because it also keeps them from getting into their heal bay. Let the missile fire. I mean, the laser fire, not the missile. Beautiful. No missiles for you. All right. Um, well, they took a little amount of damage. I think I'm not even going to vent them this time. Was the Mantis a hard run? Yes, it was. It was quite difficult. 
we had an amazing first sector, and then after that, it was pretty sketchtastic the rest of the time. All right, so faltering ship armed with fire weapons uses a remote hacking tool to try to disable your door system. They're going to burn you out. So this is a ship fight where they use fire weapons. Do I want my hacking? I think I do want my hacking, so I do not counter the hacking. It's a fire bomb. Okay. I'm going to try to not use the hacking, though. Oh, I pressed C, but I didn't cloak. What happened? Did I not have power there? Oh, that's my doors on fire. That's bad. That actually is quite bad. I do not put that fire out anywhere close to in time. Okay, okay. Fight over. Uh, we got to deal with this. Get the rock over here to help deal with the fire. Okay, we're okay, we're okay. Rockman enjoys the sauna, that's right. I don't want Rock to get the repair training, I don't think. How was my view on reconstructed teleport for this ship? Quite good if you don't get an early clone, blend, clone bay. I think even Britnoth would agree that reconstructive is probably most useful on this particular ship. And Britnoth hates Reconstructive. <laughs> but it is still 70 scrap doing the same job as like a clone bay, I guess. But if I saw it now, I would have to be seeing like no other useful things to get it though. Because I really want weapons more than that. Yeah, great if it's free. If you have to spend 70 scrap on it, it probably isn't worth if you already have some way to heal your crew. Britnoth is like, hmm, is Rand putting words into my mouth? <laughs> yes, yes, I am. Uh, Rebel Rigger. His weapons are crap, but what about his drones? I own intruder drone. Into my cloaking. Okay. Uh, I just do this. And we're good. Then move here. I'll just let him grow. It's fine. We're gonna board a second time and we're fine. Um, ow! How did mini beam do damage? Iron intruder got into my shields. F you, iron intruder drone. Oh, uh, I didn't want to vent you guys. I do want to vent you guys, though. What about in general? In general, it's too expensive. Reconstructor teleport. It's one of those win more things where it's nice because it help keeps your training, but the more I play boarding ships, the more I agree with Britnoth and others who say if you just refresh your crew every time, it does pretty much the same thing as, as having... Reconstructive. Because it heals your crew. Uh, Hollow did a recon teleport run once. It was cool. You get an extra system slot. Limited. I think you need to fight off borders and then board with the same crew or TV back and need your crew healthy. Yeah, if that's like your only way of healing, I'm guessing that's what he did. Like a challenge where that was his only form of healing. It's a cool idea. 137 scrap. Let's... Man, I'm almost... I could get third shield right now. What if that's a store and it has, like, three igniter or something? Let's not spend all our scrap. Weapons are strong. But I have cloaking if I remember to freaking use it. Save a drone part, though. Cloak the first laser, too. Missling my own dudes, but. Okay, good. 
fine now. Wow, we're getting a lot of fuel for a boarding ship. We usually don't get this much fuel on a boarding ship, it feels like. When I say level 3 oxygen is overkill, almost every time. Yeah, it's hardly ever worth getting level 3 oxygen. I don't even know of an event that level 302 gets you a blue option. Yeah, level 3 oxygen is... I've upgraded everything else on my ship and have nothing else to spend scrap on, and I already have swag sensors. Guess I'll get level 302. You have seen level 302 save a run. The only time... Okay, all right, let me take that back. If you're, like, forced to go into an abandoned sector and you know you're getting like a late abandoned sector and you're getting boarded by multiple lanius then sure level 302 might be have a small niche protection from lanius boarding events level 302 is the meta okay far had clone bay broken and vented and doors broken and breached on mantis b and his two mantis were almost dead and level 302 saved that huh all right, um, okay, attack. I'm going to just try to kill him with just these borders and not even use a missile or a hacking drone. You can see a four-person Lanius boarding. How does level 302 help you in that situation? That would help the enemies not get vented. I don't know how that would be useful. Uh, you wish you could aim on intruder drone. You could see them actually being good boarding support. Yeah, they're pretty useless since you can't aim them. It's too much of an RNG thing. Even even boarding drones don't feel that good to me because you can't tell them where to go. Either that or you get the Zoltan blue option where it upgrades auction when you already have level 2 auction. <laughs> yeah. Level 302 is enough to overcome a breach in every room. Wow, I did not know that. A breach in every room? So if there was a breach in every single room of my ship, and I had level 302 powered, and all my doors were open, is that with all your doors open or closed? Oh, the doors have to be closed. Okay, okay. Interesting. I did not know that. That's good to know. All right, there's our store. One more jump before the store. Yes, full greed mode. Full greed mode. Okay. Um. All right, we hack and board his weapons as usual. Do not have my power in the right place right now. go. Good fight. Huh. Alright, who gets vented? Uh, Paprika's her shield, guys, so I think it's Attila. Attila, you signed up for this. <laughs> Sorry to say. You've done a great job at being vented. Number one vented human. Congratulations. Your venting was successful. <laughs> the Paprika survived. You're only, by this much, you're only this much more useful. More greedy than Mr. Krabs, you know it. Tilla is a good name for a mantis, you think, huh? He got vented while on the slug ship, so he got his own place to live. Yeah, so he totally lives over there. He's not dead. He now owns that slug ship. It's a good day to be a Tilla. All right, store, what you got? Congratulations to place first at being vented. <laughs> Backup battery, automated reloader. There's a reconstructive. We're so far ahead I could do it, but I think we just want to do backup battery, automated reloader, and maybe the whole laser. Forgot that we even had that. Is there another store? There's not another store yet. So this. Yeah, I think we do this and this. Um, do I buy any drone parts or missiles? 
Is it worth replacing Artemis with Small Bomb? That's an interesting choice. Bypass the defense drones. I like that a little bit. Right, it's a little pricey. Um, if there's a breach two, I'd say yes immediately. <laughs> no, we're not gonna do re reconstructive. It's seventy scrap, man. That seventy scrap, I could upgrade my shields or get more weapon upgrades. Yeah, it's true. Bombs do work with holding shield bypass. All right, I th I, it's pricey, but I, I think I do agree. It's useful. Just for the defense drone and Zoltan Shield bypass potential. Go one, two, three. One drone part. And I'm gonna wait and see if I see another store, and if I don't, I'm gonna get third shield, I think. Because uh, Zoltan Shield bypass is the next best thing to find. Oh, this stupid thing. He's got mind control with free borders. All right, he can't do damage to us. Just have to deal with the actual borders. Kills my doors, that actually kind of screws us. Oh, he missed his clone bay, God damn it. Man, do I even board this guy? This is sketchy, man. Um, do this so I can fight him one at a time. This. Um. There. There. That should do it. Oh, oh. 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 That's. Uh. F you. Don't kill my crew. God. Fucking damn it. Oh, Jesus Christ. F you, FTL. F you with that bullshit right there. Okay, we didn't lose crew. Holy crap, I hate this goddamn event. I hate that free hack on the repair the uh, heal bay BS, man. Get wrecked, FTL. Get out, micro, you shiznitty game. What a stupid event that is, man. What would I say would be the reasonable price for reconstructive? Free or like 40 scrap? I don't know. I have no idea. I think it was the 400 bits, Flurchin. Phil was the one who asked if there was an unnamed crew member and I gave him the human, but Kirkner is generated from the game. Might be fair to name the Mantis after him. If, if Attila's not still here, I'm not going to rename somebody. Sorry. If he asks, I will. But Attila likes to come in and out, so <laughs> if he comes back, we'll reincarnate him as something. Uh, you love that the Texas event says they don't look like engineers. You think these slugs might be trying to screw me over, FTO? Hmm, maybe. Uh, you say small bomb, MC, but that would require to stop micro. I did. I tried, Professor. I did. And he dodged like two times. So with nobody on piloting, I'm pretty sure he dodged my, my small bomb into mind control at least once. At least once I tried. Uh, I think I need all that. I would be at eight fuel, six missiles, and six drone parts. Um, I'm basically using one drone part, one missile every fight. Yes, the slugs cheat. I'm not going to do that. I'm using all of my stuff. We've already seen our out of sector stores, our out of nebula store. I don't think we get to see another one, so our only other store chance would be here, I think. Although, one, two, three, four, we might get another dive. These ones delay enough.
All right, he's got a missile. Pack weapons, board his weapons. Let him board. Uh, Bam Bam Hanson, thank you for the tier one sub. Appreciate that. Please, 95% work. Thank you. Yay for 95 not being zero. Your last run, you picked up Firebomb for better crew killing. You swear all of your lasers will hit, and then their one dodge was the bomb every time. <laughs> Yes, that is the the danger of it. Although I'm sure it didn't happen as often as it feels, and it's that thing, that word that I can't ever remember, where you only remember the bad stuff. Oh my God, that's the second 20 sub bomb today. Nietzsche with the 20 sub bomb. Holy shnikes! Thank you, Nietzsche. Holy crap, you people are too generous, man. Thank you, sir. Confirmation bias. Thank you. That, that that word that I can never remember. That's a glaive beam. Oh, I did not mean to leave him, leave him out. Let him out. Fine. They're going to repair that in time, aren't they? No, they're not. Beautiful. Hope that. Uh, good dodges. Good stinking dodges. Beautiful. Perception bias, too. Oh, I guess I've not heard of that phrase before. A lot of money. Yes, we have a lot of very generous people here. Oh, Professor Leskinen with 150 bits, 200 bits, Mr. Brad Paps. You just earned a 10k bits badge. Wow, Mr. Breadbaps. Holy shnikes. There is my other store. Okay. All right, let's just... Um... I'm like 98% sure that's not a dive if I go there, but just because I don't want to lose my streak from the 2% chance that that actually is a dive and I end up double diving, let's just go to the store. I've been very greedy this run. No need to greed that. Thank you for that crazy hype train, everybody. Nietzsche leading the way with the crazy, crazy sub bomb. That's another reloader and a halberd beam. Um, I really want Zoltan Shield Bypass more than I want Automated Reloader, though. I do want this. So I will buy this. Yeah, reloaders, you can have triple reloader. One of my favorite runs of all time was the full flackening, which was four flak ones, three automated reloaders, and what was it? It was uh, the flak artillery on Fed C, right? Is the full flak meme. Um, we're going into a dive, so... Do I get my third shield or do I get a weapon upgrade? I don't have the power for either, to be honest. You had quad, burst laser two, triple automated reloader one time, so damn fun. Those are some fun runs, yeah. You think just cloak? Well, if I'm if I'm diving, I'm boarding in their weapons, I'm hacking their weapons, I'm small bombing their weapons. I'm not too worried about the dive. I'm more worried about the fights after the dive. Additively or multiplicatively. If I knew what that meant, I probably still wouldn't know because I'm bad at that. Uh, did the flak artillery even fire once on the flak? I don't remember. <laughs> I'm just going to get full defense here. Stress, then dive. It's true. I can't use a whole laser for Zolt and Shield uh, stuff. Seven moons. Seven. No. I don't even know if I want this slug. Um, you have no training, sir. 
Why does Uberith have no training? You must be my... Weapons? Yeah, my weapons have no training. Sorry, Junpeg. Grilled slug for dinner. Watch for dinner. Alright, um... It is mind control immune. Yeah... I'd have to get rid of my human, I guess. Now we teleport into here. Let him in, close the door, and hack that. And the Vulcan should never get spun up, and we should kill him before they can get out of the room. That should be a clean, easy dive. Perfect. Thanks for the fuel, bro. Uh, first time you asked to be Slocknog, you actually thought it was this event, but now you're committed to the bit. Um... Are you Salad Bucket? <laughs> or is it somebody else? Because I have Salad Bucket as the one who wants to be Slocknog. Is that you? I can't keep track of people who have different names on Twitch and YouTube. I apologize. Ooh, civilian. Yeah, Slug could be forced to, uh, forced Zoltan after, so we are going to go civilian. Bam Bam Hanson, thank you for the 100 bits as well. And did I get Ankle Bane? I may have missed Ankle Bane's 200 bits. Thank you, everybody. Was being so ridiculously generous. You are Salad Bucket on YouTube. Somehow it was taken on Twitch. <laughs> Probably an old one of your accounts you forgot the password to. Okay. Um, I'm a little low on drone parts, and we need to get our weapons online. Otherwise, we're about boss ready, and we're Sector 5, which is crazy. Especially on this really ridiculously difficult ship a lot of the times. Got mind control and pretty good weapons. Perfect. Hold the doors means I did not have to do something. Holy double rewards, Batman. That was nice. Uh, means I did not have to fight him. The only thing I haven't gotten this run? An NG. I have no NGs. No silly devices, sadly. You love the animated new animated emotes? Oh, did they come through? Did they work? I set them up this morning. I see the Rand Trash. The new ones were called Rand Trash 1 and Rand Flak 1. Did they, do they work? Rand 1-1 one, one, Trash 1 Brand one one black one. Does that work? No. Oh, there it is. That is that's these capital letters. Okay. Sweet. They aren't showing up on my emote list for some reason. I might have to refresh or something. But thank you to uh Bilbo Sagans for those. There we go. We have a flak firing and it times out perfectly. It's great. It's so awesome. Wow, we just got like a crap ton of scrap from that reward. What would I want from a store? Zelton Shield bypass. And drone parts. Those do look awesome. No Zolt and Shield Bypass. A Heavy Laser 1 is great. I want to buy drone parts, but I want to be able to afford Zolt and Shield Bypass. That's an 8 power weapon system right there. Well, let's not buy drone parts here yet. Let's go one more jump. Those are cool, yeah. Bilbo Sagans did a great job. Those really do look great. Okay. Is he running? No. He is doing that, though. Um, all right, if I get his weapons offline, we can just eventually keep boarding him. We got his shields down to heavy laser him down. Oh, 
don't go after my clone bay, please. Okay, uh... This... Come on, there it is. Good. Okay, we should be good now. Got the heavy laser just in time since I didn't upgrade my other weapons. Uh, you guys start making your way over there, I guess. Oh, level three. Um, all right, I want to do this without using any more missiles if I can. Guess you know what? This is weapon training while we wait. Poor guys. Get invented all the time. My girl likes to vent me all the time, vent me all the time, vent me all the time. Poke the missile. Good. Alright, now we should be good. Uh... Alright, we do really do need a weapon upgrade. Double reward is amazing, though. Uh, timing is still a little off after a while. Bits emotes need to be up re-uploaded. Don't know if I caught that. It does? It looks good to me. Uh, they desync? Really? Okay. Um, well, I did it this morning, so I'll redo it again at some point. How am I doing this run? Pretty good, Svensson. Pretty good. I think I can still afford whatever it's called. So now I can get Albert Beam online if needed. Don't you bypass. One, two, three. Shinobi one Kenobi understands the need to be constantly vented. Okay, good. Um beautiful. Free staff. Free stuff is always the best. Alright, I forgot to move my crew. That was uh, that was a misplay. I could have been punished for that. Do they have any fighting skill? Oh, they got plenty. See, Shinobi's almost full still. Kenobi's almost full. Kirkner and Kirby. Kirby, we just got. So, poor Kirby doesn't have much training. But... Actually, since Kirby doesn't have training, we'll put Kirby indoors. Alright, hoping for Zoltan Shield Bypass. Buy anti bio beam. Was there one at the stores? I didn't know they could be at stores, lol. Oh, wait, yes, I did. Before chat blows up again. Oh, okay, there's our other store. All right, I will get one more weapon upgrade because I'm pretty sure I can still afford that thing. Don't you bypass. Nebula does get me an extra jump, so one, two, three, and then a bunch of jumps, maybe. Can't wait for me to play the other slug ships. Yeah, me too. They're both way better than this one. Although, with how well this run has gone, I hope I don't have. Really, I hope I don't have really bad RNG when I play the other strong ones. Hacking missile auto hacker. I'm gonna try to do this. We got a map. Okay. All right, that's not bad. Yeah, so we can go one, two, three, four, five, six. We can get seven. So one, two, three, four. Three, four, five. Yeah, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, okay. Cool. Not a bad map, actually. Don't show bypass 55, so I'm good. Thank you. Can't find it, though. Well, there's the sensors. Do I buy them? I feel like I still don't even buy them. When I want to get weapons upgraded. Sector 5, I probably buy fuel and weapons, honestly. Replicator? I don't know. Do I have to, have to save me 10 missiles to pay for itself? You would go for a stun bomb instead of anti-bio beam because of its stunning power. Great. Um, let's... I'm gonna do this so that when we back up battery this, we are maxed out on dodges. I'm gonna do that. 
And otherwise, I'm going to have, like, Heavy Laser online, I guess. I want to get my weapons online, but I'm just, I'm kind of far behind in power. It only saves you money if you end up buying 10 missiles. Yeah, yeah, replicate or something. I don't think I want it right now. I guess we can't dodge. down. Ah, oh, I messed that up. Uh, I'm taking damage. Cloak. Okay, oh, my micro is not good here. God damn it! I'm trying to get my fucking shields up! Oh, this drone is destroying me right now. Oh, god damn it. Oh, god damn it. Don't end this run by this fucking bad micro. What is the dodges? What are these fucking dodges, game? I killed his goddamn shit. God damn it, FTL. Don't you shit on me like this. There. Okay, alright, alright, we're fine. Jesus Christ, man. Double Ion Beam Drone Mark III almost just destroyed me. Oh my god, that stressed me out. Alright, we're fine, everything's fine. That took way more damage there than I should have. God damn it, game. I couldn't micro, I couldn't micro, I couldn't get my power out of my fucking shield into my engines. Alright, we're spending all of my scrap on goddamn power right now. I just cannot power my systems and weapons. Ugh, Christ almighty, that was bad, bad micro. This is why I don't like playing low power like Farb does, because you get in situations like that where it's just, it snowballs like in a freaking split second, man. Sodium chloride level surge, yes, we recovered, it's fine. It was a bit stressful. I could have jumped. Uh, yeah, maybe I could have. I don't know if my piling was down or not. I probably could have. This far play again. I don't know. You're not a fan of running low on power? Yeah. Seems super sketch to me, for sure. Should have had my small bomb up. Okay, missile down. Air drone. Good. Reverse ion field for free and double rewards. Wow, that was a triple reward. Okay, thank you. FTL for the triple reward. Holy shnikes. Piloting was down during that fight. Well, I'm sure it wasn't down the entire time. I'm sure the slug repaired it, but... Doing low power on Zultan C is enough for you? Yeah, no kidding. I think the problem was hacking, piloting. That fight was basically safe if I took down Versailles or 2, so the play was hack weapons. Yeah, hack weapons, board weapons, always. <laughs> So I, I misplayed it by not doing the same thing every time, which is hack weapons, board weapons every time. All right. Um, all right, now that I have that, I feel a little bit better about my power situation. I next probably try to get this plus heavy laser. I didn't do the same play every time, and it was a misplay. Hack weapons, board weapons, missile weapons. Dot, 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 weapons. Um... We can get a double reward. That's not a bad deal, but we can get a double reward. So let's do this. We can cloak the um, first laser shot. Fuel bay.
Oh, that was late. Do this, then walks him out of there. Okay, good. Uh, that's that's a one fight. Uh, for weapon training, though, let's do this. Good dodges. Okay. No double reward. Well, I think we still got more scraps. So it was worth. Getting your feet wet into FTL, one thing you've learned to really appreciate is how naturally you time your shots. You're still trying to make sure your hack, flak, and lasers hit in that order every time. Yeah, that's a skill that takes a lot of practice. And it's um, it's tough with flak, because I talk about how awesome flak is, but the projectiles are slower, so you have to learn that delay. Which the good thing is, you can when you're learning it, you just pause, and it's easier. But it still does take some practice. 62 scrap. Um... I have two more ship fights this sector. Yeah, let's go ahead and get the weapon online that way. Taking sustained ion too when they have a beam drone is a very painful. Oh yeah, that was happening during the, the fight that almost snowballed out, out of control on us. So many auto scouts. Are we in a rebel sector? We're in a civilian sector, aren't we? Okay, what does he hack? Poking, okay, that's fine. Fire, it's a fire bomb, right? So let's do that. Save our missiles now. Only need two shields. Uh, annoying thing about weapon timing is that it's a bit different on each ship depending on where the weapon slot is. That's also true, yeah. On fed ships, you often find your weapons get desynced because of how much further away the two weapons in the front are. Yeah, that's definitely a good thing to mention. Hey, we got weapon training level, and that's nice. Okay, one more weapon training by waiting for this to charge. Hey, shield train! Wow, we just we got a bunch of training in this fight. Nice. Two rewards, but they're two kind of small rewards, so it's like 47 scrap. It's okay. I think I saved for store now. Alright, uh, what do you got? It's gonna hack my engines. Four crew, clone bay. I'm gonna not counter it. He can damage us if he gets lucky. Man, we need Zoltan Shield Bypass. We really do. Once had a map and you still missed. But the Rebel Stronghold thing? That's nothing to feel bad about. That's pretty RNG based too. Um, we do this. Do this. Mantis goes to repair. It's level three. Okay. Good dodge. This should actually move him out there. Yeah. Stop him repairing that. Okay. He'll explode. It's fine. Okay, good. We're gonna vent him anyway. Uh, human with level 2 shields, maybe he will not get vented. Maybe! Maybe. Don't hold your breath. Oh wait, hold your breath if you're getting vented. Although if you're going scuba diving, don't hold your breath. That's the number one rule of scuba diving. Don't hold your breath. Never hold your breath if you're scuba diving. There's a, there's a uh, uh, pro tip for you, or a life tip of scuba diving. Alright, what do we got? Demand so they're goods. Flak one. He probably has an offensive drone, doesn't he? Defense. Oh, yeah, he does. Okay. Um, do that, and then that. Is that Polar Pilot? Not yet.
Okay, that still didn't pull the pilot. This should. Okay, there we go. Uh, I actually can't do a full dolphin flip here because there's not another four-person room, so we got to do that manually. But we're good. 35 scrap. That was my reward? 35 scrap? That seems really low. Honestly, holding your breath in vacuum is also suicide. Well, is there any way to not die in a vacuum? <laughs> I don't know. And probably the same problem as holding your breath while scuba diving. It's a pre pressure differential thing that messes you up. I don't know what you're supposed to do in a vacuum to not die, so... Crystal, you've got to earn the hard way. There's no ship win that feeds into it. Uh, there is a ship win. It's winning with every other ship, I believe. If you want to unlock the crystal ship, just keep playing the game, because I think if you beat all ships, it unlocks it. Oh, it's Zeltan or Zeltan. Well, then I guess we go Zeltan, so we have choices. Uh, or is it all the A and B loadouts? I don't remember. That might be right. So I can never get either of these if, the, if our stores are up there. We're in sector... S wow, we're not even sector 7 yet. Holy crap. I feel so far ahead this run. I get hacking 3 now. We are still saving for that Zeldon Shield Bypass, though. Crystal is relatively easy to get with Roxy, Crystal Crew member. I don't know if it's about easy. I have a friend at my church job who still hasn't got it. Although I also don't know how much he plays because he said he just can't get it. So maybe he doesn't play that much. Okay. Um. Uh, you guys are pretty low on health, so let's board with you guys. Here. And if we move into this room, that guy's still repairing somehow. Ah, oh, there we go. I mean, I play 35 hours a week-ish. Well, maybe not quite that much. I play a lot of hours a week. So, when you actually only play this game when you have time off from work or having fun... It's probably harder to do some of the things that take hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours, and hours to complete. Alright, good fight. Free heavy iron? Well, it's the worst weapon in the game, but it's free. In vacuum, you let your breath out and hope to quickly find a pressurized room with air. Okay. Alright, good to know. If I ever get vented because I'm a filthy human, I'll try to do that. First time you found the stasis pod, you happen to get the crystal quest done. So you guess you never found that out. God, that has got to be one of the luckiest things in gaming. To have that on the first run you've ever... Well, I guess you said it wasn't your first run ever, but the first time you found the stasis pod. So. You've never found the crystal sector the proper way, huh? If you win, you not just get a hard ship out of the way. Also come near my best streak. I hope I win, but do I really win with the Zeldon C? Uh, I don't think I've already won with the Zeltan C, no. I think only the Zeltan A? I don't know, it's on my it's on my streak list. I can't remember. Top of my head. I think we just finished the last... We've done all three of one of them. I forget which one. I need to just bank up 55 scrap. Got the bombs, got weapons... Oh, damn. Okay, that vents them. Okay, they're off my ship now. Okay. Deleted one of them. I need to cloak this next bomb, I think. Finish him. Oh, my God, he keeps leaving. Sir? Okay, all right, we're fine. <laughs> that guy was, wow, oh, some leech strats. He boards me, runs away, boards again, then comes back. Juking me, man, you're juking me. Um, There's a store, do I wanna not vent? 
I'm gonna vent the rock guy with the high max health here. <laughs> F this, I'm out. <laughs> That's right. He, he fights the guy in the clone bait. Didn't I just kill you? Hello, surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> I just killed this guy. Clone bait for the wins. I have six drone parts, so I need to buy drone parts at the store. Surprise, Mets is from the clone bay. You never want to see it. I have a feeling I'm not getting a third run in today. We're only in sector six. Unless we, like, really speed run this run. I don't know. Yeah, let's just take the store. I don't want to feel pressured or like I'm rushing through a run. So that's a burst laser, too. That's a pre-igniter. Interesting. Okay. Reverse on field, a sell it. Is there another store? We're in a we're in a Zoltan. There is another store. Your cat is really sleepy and showing you his belly. Do you risk belly rubs? Sure, sure. What would I lose if I get this? Full laser two. Maybe Halberd Beam, to be honest. Well, we're gonna be crew killing. Halberd Beam will help us kill the boss faster in final two phases. Um, Scare ships left for the streak. Zoltan Sea probably is the main one. First laser one, first laser two, heavy laser, small bomb is reasonable. Well, I was thinking of getting rid of Halberd Beam, just getting burst laser two. And having whole laser two, heavy laser one, small bomb burst laser two. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. That's a seven weapon power system. Um, bypass, more important than pre-igniter. It's true. And we still don't see Zoltan Shield bypass, which is what we're looking for. Um, do I sell the halberd beam? You know what? I'm going to sell whole laser. Five burst laser repair. Two drone parts. This is going to be my boss weapon system, unless something else happens like a flak. This is my boss weapon system. Let's check for uh, Zoltan Shield Bypass, though. You called it. Oh my gosh, and a breach, too. Alright, this store has all the things we want. Um, how do we get both? How do we get both? I need 60. This sells for 22. Don't I ever get pre-igniter? Sometimes, yeah. But in this position, I don't think it's needed. So I could sell both Halberd Beam and Small Bomb for it. Breach over Breach Bomb. What? I have a Breach Bomb. I don't have a Breach Bomb. I have a Small Bomb. Sell a human, if only. Do I sell Halberd Beam to get it? Man, I would hate to sell the first laser too I just bought. Bypass over breach question mark? Yes. Yes, absolutely. But we want both. Free up an augment slot. You think I should sell automated reloader? Or long range scanners? Man, that's gonna get me so much scrap in the next sector and a half. Can I get another jump and come back now? Well, I can, but I'd be going one, two, three, which feels really wasteful. But might be correct. Because I'd like to keep this halberd beam. Small bomb, burst laser two, heavy laser one, halberd beam would be amazing. We can be wasteful, we're ahead. We don't need breach bomb. I'm strong enough as it is. Well, we want it. It's really stinking good. Let's let's go here, and we will probably come back for the breach bomb. Holy shnikes, this ship, though. They're hiding from Zoltan Border Police, yeah. Uh, okay, he only has that. That boarding and clone bay, and okay. I 
that's good. Whoops, I fired that while he was cloaked. Not so good. Go here. That should pull them. Perfect. I feel like my boarding strats have gotten a lot better in the last couple weeks, and that's part of the reason why our streak is looking so much better. We've had a lot of boarding runs, and we've gotten a lot of good practice. Still, I feel like I could improve a lot, but that's definitely going to get us the breach too. Yeah, it's absolutely worth missing out on some jumps to get the breach 2 bomb with Zoltan Shield Bypass. That's just so good on phase 3 of the boss, I think. I don't like being wasteful, but again, who was it? Uh, said we're far enough ahead we can be wasteful. Maze, I think, said that. We are absolutely boss ready. I just need a couple more weapon power and some other upgrades and we are boss ready. So I only go to stores for like drone parts, I think. Oh, so that's good. That's good. What's up, Plunder Pig? How are you doing, sir? Proving your boarding strats was a key to winning the cycle for you. Yeah, I think that's been a major part for us too. I'm at half power. 5, 10, 15, 17. Okay. You're doing bad. Why? Man, we searched. We got Clombe. No, Paprik! He's fine. He's fine. Re refreshing dip in the Clombe. Like the sound. It's like the sauna. Go to the sauna. Sorry. That was probably a bad... I don't know. Swedish accent I tried to do. I don't know. One, two, three, four. If that's a ship fight, then we want to go one, two, three, four. You're sick? Is still a streak game? Uh, yes. We're not doing... I mean, we have a lot of crew, but there's no reason to chance anything. We should not take any chances like that. Finish. Was that was that a bad finished accent? I don't even know what the accent was so bad I tried to do. I didn't even know who I was trying to make fun of. I don't know. Uh, give a gentle ribbing. We lost somebody. Oh, it's a human. It's fine. It's fine. All right. He has a heal bay, and he's probably gonna have multiple defense drones. Yes, that is all the defense drones. It is. I do that so I can board here and they can't get in. Ooh, gosh, okay. Perfect. Um, breach the shields. This guy has four shields and triple defense drones. Holy shnikes, man. And wow, his weapons are insane, actually. Holy crap. Okay, we cloaked the next volley. I can't believe we didn't take damage this fight. Double burst. This guy is freaking boss ready. Holy crap. One, two, three. That's only four drone power. But four weapon... And that's only five weapon power. That is some efficient building of your ship right there. Okay. So many free expensive drones this run. Yeah, we just got a free defense too. We've gotten two free hull repair drones. Maybe I should have considered going drone control earlier with one of those free hull repair drones. Oh, he had a bomb too. Okay, so six weapon power, I guess. Six or seven. <laughs> Speaking of free drone parts. I could dive right now. I don't think one extra jump is worth a dive. Slug home or rock home? It's probably slug home, right? We already have the level 202. Uh, I hate that event that takes off my clone bay still that's gonna be a crap load of scrap I am protected from rock live mine I still don't want to deal with cloaked missile rock ships yeah cloaking giant missile sounds very unfun I can go down here around and get back to the store 
What else would we even want from a store? I guess now is when we'd get sensors. Now is probably the time we'd actually have a be far enough ahead we'd just get sensors. Prize free pre-igniter, huh? <laughs> All right, the second time. Uh, we having a problem with the oxygen generator. Uh -huh, get wrecked. 65 free scrap. That's the second time. This run? This run, we've gotten to spread some slugs around their ship. Get that. We're working towards getting the halberd beam online. Okay. Guys, weapons are crap. What do your drones look like? Hacking and... Ion Intruder. F that Ion Intruder. Okay. I, that was probably not worth using a drone part, but I hate Ion Intruder drones, like, a lot now. Okay. They have effed too many of my runs. Let's go. Kill that clone bay, please. Perfect. Now we go here. His weapons are weak, and I was more afraid of that than anything else. Holy no power. Close the doors. Whoops. Do I have a breach? I have one breach. Okay. Whoops. Just a little bit of therapeutic venting. Uh, hold on a second. You get four shields? Um, I could. I don't really want to do that yet. I'd rather get weapons online before I get four shields online. Stun plus breach makes Iron Intruders really painful. Yeah, I feel like the only way we lose this run is like some ridiculous snowball out of control with Iron Intruder drones or disrupt uh, Ion Pulsars or some ridiculousness like that. So if we can avoid... Death by that kind of shenanigans. I have the teleporter upgraded, actually. I should have done that probably a long time ago. I don't get the store if I go one, two. And again, what am I looking for at a store? Sensors, and I have drone parts to sell, so yeah, I should go there. Control, four shields, all heavy lasers, and one, two, three, four, five, six crew. All right, let's one, two, three shots. I don't know how often these line up. Is that 13 seconds and 10 seconds? I think I actually hack shields here so that my weapons can take out some of his stuff. God, that's a satisfying sound. Okay, that should pull him. Good. Good fight. Good stinking fight, man. Get some training in here while he tries to get through the doors. Oh, there's our finally our free NG. It only took seven sectors to find him. Go dog, who's like heavy lasers? I got some heavy lasers. Yeah, yeah. Alright, uh, what are you trained in? Piloting? Screw that, you're our shields guy. Sorry, Paprik. Sorry. Sorry. You, you lasted a while. But you're a human. And you know what that means. Poor, poor human. <laughs> Thank you for the shield training. Now, 
Go learn how to breathe vacuum. We had one extra slug for a barbecue earlier. It's true. It's delicious, too. Tasted like escargot. I don't know. All right. So we're getting that store looking for sensors. Congratulations. You play second at being vented. <laughs> That's right. These guys are all equal in health, so... I really should just vent you. I was trying to avoid it. Somehow they all end up with the exact same health. I guess because we had to fight six different slug crew. That's another annoying thing about slug sectors is boarding them. They always have so much crew. Wow, look at their shields. They're just burning down over here. <laughs> if we were patient enough, we could probably slowly wait for their ship to burn. Nah, they were too dead, so we'll probably get vented. Racist versus humans, yes, in this game. Decline. Actually, this is slug blue option, right? This is slug blue option. Slug crew member. There we go. Um, do I hack this? Five crew. I'm going to attempt to save a drone part here. I'm learning, guys. I'm learning. I remembered something. Cool guys, don't look at explosions, that's right. Or humans getting vented. We just throw them out the door and forget about them. Because we're cool. And also horribly uh, sadistic people, I guess. Alright. Uh, we are going to store, so I actually didn't probably need to do that, but let's vent them all. Rebel propaganda is probably full of clips of Rand venting humans. <laughs> look at this guy! This guy is somebody that we need to take out and rebel against because he's killing all our humans because he's totally racist against humans. So, you know, join our rebellion. Yeah. That's that's totally the, the rebellion propaganda in that stupid voice, too. Kind of sad to know that cool people have never seen an explosion. <laughs> Poor cool people. They're so cool, but they just never get to look at explosions. What a rough life. That's a first world problem right there. Too cool to have ever seen an explosion. It's a good meme. Post that on Reddit. If you follow a trace of randomly frozen dead human bodies in space, you eventually find Rand's ship. That's right. That's a flak. No sensors. I said I don't buy anything else from a store, but then I said, unless I find a flak. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. No, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. We already have an eight power weapon system. I think this might be one of those rare occasions where I don't buy a flak. It would be cheaper to get online than the halberd beam, I guess, is the thing. I only need one more weapon power. So... Would I rather have flak versus laser two, heavy laser breach, or halberd beam, and all those things? Um, either way wins. I'm in slug sector seven. I don't, f yeah, actually we have enough for it right now. Um, save the NG from what? Yeah, I love flak, but we, I can just do this right now. So we're going to do that right now. We have our full weapon system online. Are probably better spend that on upgrades that are arguably side grades than what are arguably side grades. I don't know. The thing is that Halberd Beam does six, eight damage to the boss, while Flak can do at most three. This is going to make our phase two and three a lot better, I think, than a Flak. Higher micro, but I think it's just actually better. You don't actually don't think the thing is desynced. It's just your connection. Okay, good. Because I don't want to have to change it again. <laughs> Alright, now we just need power for days. We probably don't even get fourth shield, which is fine. Because of all the power and value points I need to get. 
but we don't need fourth shield. Uh, why did my pilot leave? Pilot don't leave. Sixty-three scrap. Okay, if we get a couple more jumps like that, we might actually be able to afford uh, fourth shield. Not that that's my highest priority. <laughs> oh no, a Vulcan. So anyway, I started blasting. Vulcan is a no can shoot. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and get yeah power. And then we need level three teleporter. Cloaking value, piloting value, and then we probably get fourth shield. I would actually rather get the value points in those other systems than the fourth shield, I think, because cloaking covers the fourth shield thing very well. You know what might be cool? There was an augment that kept chain weapons charge levels up even when depowered. I don't know how that would work. We got cloaking. Uh, again, I'd probably just hack weapons, board weapons, missile weapons. Dodges. No firebomb for you. Good fight. Good freaking fight, man. And this is why you vent your crew every time. Even though we're losing the training, us being at full health means we're just winning every fight here. It really is needed. As much as I hate waiting for it every time, it really is good. And you know what? Just to speed up time, I'm going to do that. You assume would keep chain weapons up, charge up even when depowered. Yeah, I know, but like, how, how does keeping a weapon powered when it's depowered, charge when it's depowered, how does that work? You mean you just select it and instantly fire every time? That sounds ridiculously overpowered. <laughs> yeah, this weapon never goes offline, even when it's offline. So you can just turn it on at any time and use it? Yeah, it's awesome. That sounds pretty broken. Necro would get the level 3 teleporter extra. I'm going to. Um, I just can't do that yet. We're definitely doing that for the boss fight. Since we've learned the boss strats. Proved our boss strats anyway. this. Oh, crap. I did that all wrong. There we go. Uh, okay, we probably need to cloak the next laser volley. Eh, we're looking pretty good. Looks good. Five drone parts. Hey, look, another human to vent. Get out of here. Get out of here. Yeah. Get it. Just get out of here. All right. Do we have... I'm diving. This is... This is... This is going to be our last run of the day. We're almost... This is going to be two three-hour runs today. <laughs> They're just both boarding ships. Boarding ships are just... Now that I'm doing training and do and boarding every enemy and hacking weapons like these runs are just they're at about an hour longer than I used to play so scrap gains have just been insane hey 69 scrap noise we're so far ahead we can buy upgrades to make things faster yes focusing on crew killing is a time killer for sure yeah but it's absolutely worth because 
the gains we have been making from it have been really, really, I mean, we're on our second best streak, so the results speak for themselves. Um, I'm going to get the power first, actually. Running out of drone parts and missiles and fuel. Yeah, we're at the end of this final sector. Okay, this is the really annoying tank. He doesn't have clone base, so he can't clone his dudes. Ah, but I can vent them. That's perfect. So we hack your weapons. We board your weapons. You breach bomb your heal bay. Perfect. Actually, no. We're just going to keep venting you. I should pull the guy out of bearing that. Buy some time here. There we go. You guys are low, but not dead. Oh. Okay, we're good. More consistent. Yeah, and consistency is king, that's for sure. Uh, NG did, 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 did double kill. Did the NG just get both kills? Nice. Way to go, NG. Uh, so level three clone bay heals me 25. Yeah, it's not nearly enough. Wait, why am I? Oh, I never saved you at these positions. Okay. Um, I don't think I need to vent those guys, but I do need to vent our primary borders. Uh, whatever will Rand do, that's the joke dot gif. Oh, you are making a joke about running out of fuel when we don't need fuel. Gotcha. Gotcha. By the way, you fell asleep before the end of the Keshul run yesterday. Did I win? Oh, you're talking about the, um, the SMPK Insurrection Genesis ship. That was a very difficult run. And spoiler, spoiler, spoiler alert. We won. We won. Yes. All right. Spoiler's over. Uh, 93 scrap. Power. Oh, okay. Need teleporter next. Teleporter and power. Okay. As long as we get one repair station, we should be fine with our drone parts. Okay, hope that. Beautiful. Good fight. Glade beam never fired. His weapon hack is just too effing strong, man. Alright, we are going to. I can go one, two, three. I mean, yeah, if this is the last run of the day, let's max out our scrap. Let's do it. Diving in a nebula is not scary, but we will go ahead and do this. Jif, Jif, I know I feel dirty just reading it. It's Gif. Jif is peanut butter. I'm not making a sandwich here. I'm talking about pictures. It's a graphical image, not a graphical image. Uh, well done. GG cookie time for it, even if it's a bit late, yeah. Oh, you're going to GG cookie time? Great. Blade Beam and Ion Blast 2 is a very optimistic build. Uh, eh. If we didn't have Hacking Cloak and Teleporter, we... Maybe would have taken damage. I think that's the thing that bothers me about GIF. Is G-I-F stands for graphic something something, right? So why would you pronounce the G in graphic like a J? Like a graphic, I don't know. It's images in a jiffy. <laughs> really? Is that really where the name comes from? <laughs> Images in a jiffy. <laughs> okay. Oh, my bad. I had no idea they were gra they were images in a jiffy. Should've known. <laughs> How fast do those images come out? In a jiffy. All right. All right. It's not in a giffy. <laughs> How do I pronounce laser? Laser. Light something something something. 
Um, okay, we vent them. We board here, hack here. Keep doing the same thing over and over. Oh, he dodged it. Okay, it's now level three. We're good. I should stop that repair. Okay. And close that. Good. Oh no, are we actually going to start the GIF versus GIF debate in full now? Uh oh. I've heard that the format's creator calls it a GIF. I have heard that. Uh. You've seen the word GIF too much in the past weeks, making those emotes. So much conversation stuff needs to get it on them to fit Twitch's emote requirements. Uh, I remember when JPEGs used to slowly load into IE3. You remember? Remember Jawas? Seen a meme about it. When the JPEG loads over a dial up and it's actually a girl's boobs and not a Rickroll. Okay. Uh, let's see here. So we have two jumps, and then it's a dive. I still probably... You guys are going to get 50 health back in two jumps. Uh, you know what? That's going to be enough. That's that's enough. This, 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 this. Okay. So now, cloaking value. Uh, actually, we want engines and power first. Oh, that's all our power. That's okay. We get backup battery. Oh, yeah. I never did get sensors. Oh, well. Such a shame when the creator of a of something mispronounces their own thing, right? Such a shame. Lol. Double chain burst laser. Approved by Um What's her face is everywhere. <laughs> My brain. Who loves that? Um Julian versus everywhere. Jiffy versus everywhere. Julian versus. That's a 10 power weapon ship? 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes, it is. Behold, everybody. FTL cheating. It is a dive ship, but behold the cheating. And it's not even a slug doing it. This is the Julian versus build. Jiff is a brand of cleaning fluid. Oh, is it? That as well? Okay. Sensors, schmensers. You had to triple count. You knew they could have nine, but not ten. Oh, yeah, we've seen ten multiple times. Not the first time we've seen that. I am almost out of drone parts. Okay. I hope I can get two repair stations just to get ten drone parts. So. I know, it's a cheating human. Cheating humans deserve to be vented. Okay, if I can get that one, that'd be great. So. Value and the last thing is piloting value and backup battery upgrade and then yeah Somebody said we can easily get force shield. Yeah, but if I do, I like value points more than I like force shield, so I like value points too much Nice missile down God, he almost did damage to us there. Yeah, there we go. All right, no more piloting and no more scary weapons. Okay, good. I need to... Re so, 4, 3, 2 is how I'm doing these weapons. Good. Level 3 cloaking for phase 2 and 3. Um, if I have enough, sure. I want to make sure I get that and this more than that, though. Because if I get level 3 cloaking, unless I have backup battery level 2, I can't really power it. Anyway, so I might be able to get both of them, though. In Europe, GIF is cleaning products. In the US, it's peanut butter. Nowhere in the world is it an acceptable way to pronounce GIF. 
Would you need the value points if you had four shields? Um, probably. I would probably want, always want them. Uh, big giant missile, rebel disruptor, sector eight. Yeah. Damn it. Damn it! Stop preparing that. Oh, we might take the missile here. Uh, if it's breached, though, as long as our cloak team's not dead. Okay, we're good. What an annoying freaking fight. Rebel disruptors are always a pain in the arse, man. I right, had to use some extra missiles. One drone. Uh, I failed two or three times on the to bypass the defense drone there. Didn't GIF rebrand because non-English languages really struggle with how to pronounce it? I have no idea. RG or soft G are perfectly acceptable pronunciations. Welcome to language. We're, we're a home of homophones exist. I know, the disruptors disrupt everything. It's true. <sighs> Breach is probably he's too slow. Missile cloaking should be able to charge at the time. It, it, I think it would have, my worry was that his small bomb that he had would have taken our cloaking out. But thankfully that didn't happen. Also thankfully, Repair station didn't get taken over. Also, thankfully, the missile didn't get a second time to fire, so. All right, so this, uh, uh, okay, let's do that. Repair station should give us enough to have everything we ever wanted. Am I a disruptophobe? If that means being scared of disruptors in this game, absolutely. Totally, 100%. All right, here's boss fight. So, phase one. We do what we did last time. Do we? Is there a way to do it better? I feel like I used a lot of extra missiles last time. So, board ion, board beam, hack missile. Is there anything? I watch FTL and Britain off, and other people who do this strat more than I do. After we get those two things offline and breach bomb missiles, what's the next way to? Force the kill without letting them run back and forth. Reach bombing the heel bay. Is it keeping their cloaking down? I think what I did was fine. I just blew two few extra missiles. Use Mantis. I mean, that's what I'm going to do. Leave them to run to med bay. Just pretty much do what I did, I guess. Can get an extra ship fight if I want. Let's do it after this fight. Board repeatedly into missiles, stop them fixing it, and then it doesn't matter if they run to midday. The saving missiles matter. Yeah, because breaching in phase two and three when they get um free repairs from their AI is really helpful. Okay. So I'm stressing out over nothing is what it sounds like. Alright, let me prepare. Uh we're hacking missiles. I'm boarding ion. We get a bad hack, we run away to there, and hopefully it'll be safe. Engine hack's kind of bad, but it's only bad up until the missiles are offline. Cloak that actually. Hurry up, finish there. Keep it breached. Okay. Board. Now we're safe. Two crew kills should be done there. Good. 
It is breached, so I am venting my own crew right now. I want to breach. I want to wait. Um. No, damn. Not sure if that guy died or not, honestly. I'm letting them, I'm letting them fix the breach. Basically already over. I'm gonna breach that now. There we go. Now I don't have to worry about the cloaking. Okay, two guys still alive. Is there any way we ever... There it is, okay. And right, now we just kill the shields and GG. So I want to breach this so we can't repair it and that's the last missile I'm spending. Sure, my crew are devastated by the unprecedented situation of them being vented. <laughs> it's never happened before. <laughs> Whoops, I keep doing that backwards. And yeah, not even a good swipe. Okay. Uh, let's not vent them one more time. You've had enough venting. I'll save you this one venting. All right. Well, that was even better than last time. We took zero damage. I think I have more missiles than last time. Looks smooth. Uh, you've always thought the flagship is kind of small for a super ultra ship capable of single-handedly destroying the Federation base It's like what well, maybe 2.5 times the size of coffin ship. It isn't single-handedly destroying this base. It's commanding a fleet There you go That 25 fuel almost running out. I know right almost Although I didn't vent my crew which maybe I should have Wow, those dodges with nobody on piloting. Some skills right there. Come on, man. There. Cloak. Teleport. Oh, wow, we didn't even lose any crew. Ha! Ah! Frickin'. The 137 scrap we got there, too. This is going to be one high-scoring run, I have a feeling. You always thought the player is more of a nightmare than the flagship. Imagine this monster jumping into your system. Our, our ship. One thing it has to go for it is that it can endure fatal damage twice before it finally succumbs. Yeah. Okay, let's vent you and you. Plenty of bombers stronger than this ship. Hmm. No sensors run is ruined, I know, right? So ruined. Not even full systems. What did he hack? He hacked our engines. I gotta say, man, I... I really underestimated the power of teleporter for a long, long time. At least on the boss fight on hard mode, no pause. Teleporter just doing so much work. Holy crap, we actually can get fourth shield. Is there any reason to? I can't power it. Um, is there any reason not to? Um, I guess if boarding drone goes in my piloting, I'd rather have this. So I'll do that in value point instead. Okay. Yeah, shield value point plus piloting I think is better. Uh, we never get 40 scrap from the boss, so let's do... Ooh, I might be able to throw some extra power in there. Okay, so boarding drone. Um, we insta-board into missiles, then we board into drone control with those guys. I'm gonna have those guys ready to go over there. Okay.
That is exactly what I was worried about, actually. Okay, we took one damage. Alright, that's down. Uh. Don't die. God. Okay, alright. I cannot hit his fucking drone control. He is dodging every effing missile. There it is. That's down. Okay. And I didn't breach this. Is that hit? Yes. Uh, I have cloaking for this. Good. Ooh, a little bit of a stressful start to this thing because the effing dodges and that terrible placement of his the boarding drone. Um, okay, you guys can go over there. I do not have cloaking up. I'm not doing great shots here. Okay, good. Vent to my crew because I didn't want to take any more damage from ridiculous drone control there. I also hacked a shield at start but never fired as I was distracted. Did I never actually do the hack? Yeah, you're right. I, you're right, I didn't. I, I hacked it but I didn't fire my weapons because of Freaking crew micro, yeah, you're right. Something I still need to improve on. I feel like my boarding micro has gotten better, but I still need to improve on multitasking. I very often get really uh, tunneled on microing my crew and then I lose track and don't take care of my boarding correctly or whatever. All right, so... These, these are the guys who can get mind controlled. If any of, um, I ignore anybody except, no, I kind of ignore all of them. Once you're multitasking without pausing because I'm hard. Yeah, it's true, but it's something I can improve upon. And you know, I always want to improve. The more I improve, the more likely I can get these streaks. Uh, you always get more distracted by defensive micro than you ought to. You get flustered by intruders. Yeah, me too. Me too. Rock out a teleporter. No, if he gets if he gets mind controlled, we move these two guys in there and board with them, and then I'll send this guy up there. This is fine. Okay, that's actually probably one of the best. Auto fire for now. And I gotta kill this NG, as I'm just sad to say. I'm not gonna cloak that. Okay, pretty good dodges. We're not through yet. Almost through, though. Missiles are down. You guys go there. You go there. That is... Well, quintuple breached. Uh, you're back to your position. I should stop auto firing that. I need to breach that, actually. I have no cloaking for this one. Okay, I take the one damage. That's fine. Come on. GG! Slug B, one of the hardest ships and one of our best runs this this streak, I feel like. That was a crazy good run, man. That's something you'll need to practice when you switch to no pause. Yeah. Still make a mistake with pause. You'll probably suck at no pause for a while. It takes a lot. you got to change your mindset. It's a lot of practice with no pause. That's for sure. Nietzsche, 670 bats, bits. That's your score prediction. Okay. Oh, man. Thanks, Ramses. That is uh, 13 in a row. And a lot of difficult ships out of the way, man. Yeah, we're definitely not doing a run another run today. That's <laughs> that was one three hour one like two hour and fifty minute run and then the two hour and forty minute run. Slug B. Well played, thank you. Yeah, thirteen in a row. Just get Clone Base Sector One. Let's check that score. Sixty six thirteen. Wow, that was a good prediction. You said six 
670. 6613. Six, six, That's my best slug bee run ever by a ginormous amount. 52 ships defeated, 104 beacons explored, over 2300 scrap. That is why boarding rewards are crazy. Look at that scrap, man. Holy shnikes. Slug Homeworld's 534 scrap in that sector. Now, nah, I'm not gonna have a cookie because I'm about to go eat dinner after this. Um, uh, what are the most difficult ships left? Zoltan Sea only? Um, well, here, let's look at it since uh, we are ending a little bit early. The Zoltan sector was terrible? <laughs> I mean, compared to my last run, I'm pretty sure that was better than most of my other sector. Well, better than a lot of my other sectors, so. It was 96 scrap worth of free stuff, so add another 100 to this, and it's probably on par with that slug one. Not terrible. Um, so that is going to be the end of the run today, but uh, let's look at what ships we have left. So let's look at the hangar. I've not done any Kestrel ships this, sec uh, this run. So all the Kestrel ships are not too bad. We've completed all the NG ships. We've done... Fed C, but not Fed B. And I think Fed B is can be a little challenging. Not too bad compared to some others. Zoltan, we have not done Zoltan C. This is definitely one of, if not the hardest ship of the streak left. We have Manta C left. Which, it's boarding, so we're getting better at boarding, but... We could take out uh, Auto Scouts with the Lanius boarding, so... Not the worst. We have Rock A left. We have Slug A and Slug C shouldn't be bad. We have Rock A and Rock B. Rock B maybe not so bad, but Rock A. Rock A and Zoltan C are probably the two hardest left in the streak. Stealth C can be tough, but... I don't know, I like its weapons, but it still can be tough. So probably Stealth C, Zoltan C, and Rock A are the hardest three left in the streak. All Fed ships are bad. I wanted to install the speed mod. True. I have the search brought up, so I'll probably do that off stream and not do that on stream. Uh, yeah, we still need to do Rock A. We had all systems and weapons done before Sector 7. We got 540 additional scrap. Yeah, although I didn't, never got sensors, so did we really get everything done? I don't know if we did. So, my friends, I'm going to call it a day there. I know it's only two runs, but I'd rather get two really meticulous, consistent wins than try to force three runs and fail. Tomorrow we will still do one FTL run in the morning, but then I'm going to play um, something else after. So I'm bas I've basically swapped my schedule from Wednesday and Tuesday, for those who are wondering. So tomorrow we'll do one FTL hard mode pause run, then we'll play uh, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. And Thursday will probably be the same. So say slug plus long range scanner counts as at least one sensors. Yeah, it's true. Um, yeah, we got to take our time, do it right, and keep the streak alive. So my friends, we are ending the day with a streak of 13, which is... Just building up our second, our personal best. Building up our personal best. So, thank you all for all the support. Man, the support was insane. We had Nietzsche gifting 20 subs today. And who else was it? Uh, Alice from YouTube gifting 20 subs and all the bits and everything. Thank you all for all the support. You all make this possible. Make it a blast and make it feel like, hey, we're actually making progress and having fun. So, as I always say, thank you for the support. See you all tomorrow. Enjoy your own FTL runs and good luck. Peace out. Happy gaming, y'all rock. I'll see you all next time. Have a great night. Later, my friends.